Welcome to Icky Chic Designs, and this is Linda. Uh, this is our Sunday Stitch by Stitch project video. And uh, just to recap very briefly, uh, the Stitch by Stitch project for 2024 is to see how many of these 4x4s four are, you can make it a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger, it doesn't matter, but basically around a 4x4, four four, <clears throat> how many of these you can make, and what you can do with them throughout the year. Uh, I have uh, a playlist with uh, this title so that you can follow what it is that I'm doing and uh, see what's going on. Now, <clears throat> I am, let me see, uh, I forgot to look. Let me look really quick here and see what I'm up to number-wise. Um, yes, this would be 18, 19, and 20. I've got three for this week. So that'd be 20 so far this year. And that's not bad for, for just a month. And uh, I know I can't keep that pace up all year, but that's 20 little projects already that I've finished in this and I can make something out of it. Uh, <clears throat> I have made one greeting card, and that's in the playlist if you want to go check that out. But this week, I just pulled out a different tub of scraps, and it just gives you a whole different look when you, you know, pull out a different pile of things than you've been working in lately. And so I had some uh, upholstery fabrics, and so I, I used that as a background and then just collaging on top of that some some different things here and then I thought well I'd like to see if I can make one that looks a little more masculine and uh, so I could do a masculine card you know I wouldn't put it I wouldn't put the lacy parts on it and so this is what I came up with now this is uh, again upholstery fabric background and to go masculine, I thought, okay, I need to stay in uh, earth tones. That would be good. I could stay in the, the uh, colors of metals, wood, and things like that. Uh, I could do uh, like this y yarn here that has a very earthy feel to it, very texturized. That's good. And this piece here. I could stay with straight angles. Uh, and shapes and that would lend itself to a masculine look and so that's what I did and that's what I came up with now this is a little bitty pocket here that I could tuck something into uh, depending on what I do with this or how I use this but if I wanted to make a, a card out of greeting card out of this uh, it would I would not have a problem giving this to a masculine person uh, with a note greeting note in this inside so that is kind of uh what i did out of the tub that had the uh, upholstery fabrics in it and they make good backgrounds and can be used and they do lend themselves a little bit more to the masculine side of things so if you have a boy to make something for try uh try some of your fabrics that are heavier and more in the upholstery or home decor area, okay? Now this one is very uh, feminine and this is strictly using one piece of gauzy fabric in the background and just yarns and ribbons, that's all it is. And it's simply stitched in with um, running stitches all that was all it is but it's very pretty and would make a great addition to something I don't know what yet uh, in February I'm going to concentrate more on instead of making more of these uh, go ahead and making projects out of some of these I've already made so that uh, give you some ideas of what we might do with them now some of these uh, could be just coasters, just pretty coasters. Uh, that would depend on if 
you know you wanted to use them and get them wet or anything like that because they do tend to get damp uh, I'm thinking that I don't know yet I, I'm thinking I might put this with something else that I'm I've got on hand well I'll wait and see I'm thinking about maybe a little pouch out of this using another piece that I have that would be very pretty with it but we'll see what what I can do in February with some of, of these that I've already made. So I'm up to 20 for the year. And uh, now I'm going to take a month and try to put these to practical use so that that benefits you and me and gives you an idea of why you would like to make some of these up during the year. Uh, they're just fun to work on for one thing, but but we do want to make something out of our stuff. We don't want it just to end up in the trash because it has no useful purpose. So anyway, that's that's what I did uh, this week on this Stitch by Stitch project. I hope you're working on yours. Uh, I do have an Instagram account. If any of you are on Instagram and you want to, you, if you post anything there, I do have my Facebook uh, slow Stitch group, if you are on Facebook and would like to connect with me there, post your stuff so I can see uh, some of the things you're working on. Or if you have a channel here that you're posting on, please tag me so that I can see your work. And uh, <clears throat> come and encourage you and see what beautiful things you make that might inspire me too. And uh, I do have my... Um, link tree uh, link on the front of my YouTube channel and right up on next to my uh, picture. So you can click on that and there's my links where you can reach me uh, if that if you want to, to uh, post something and tag me in it. So thank you so much for following and please remember stay scrap happy. Bye bye.